Ladies and gentlemen, this is CY Squared. You're watching Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. And before we get to this grind, I wanted to give a shout out to some new subscribers. Zach Barata. Barata. We got Al Alamin Hake. And I'm, I know I'm butchering these names. I'm not cultured. I'm from Ohio. Ben Gayin. Dylan Carr, I got that one. Raham KZ, Anthony Cio, Silo, Emo Sham, The J Spliff. Who else we got? Ismar S. Sorry, I'm going down this comments page. Um, that looks like about all in the last 24 hours so grinding grinding and i apologize if you hear a chainsaw or dudes yelling there's a tree trim company out in my yard cutting down a tree for me we are if you're anything like me sekiro has your blood pressure raised like i literally went to the doctor yesterday and my blood pressure was high and he said charles what's going on with you and i said I've been playing this video game by From Software and it's keeping me up at night. And he laughed at me and said, you're ridiculous, grow up, be a man, quit playing the game. But I can't do that. If you're like me, you got probably to Ashina Castle, you got to one of the elite monks, you got to Lady Butterfly, and then you realized I got here too quickly because I'm such a cool Souls player, I didn't grind enough and unlock enough skills. Everybody says that you should grind at the Rata Estate. I think that's a bad idea. I think the top of the Sheena Castle is way better. Look at that. 79 points. I did this for about 10 minutes and already had two points that I've used. I already got another point, And now I'm right back to getting more. So, don't be like me and hit the walls. They don't reset. Nothing replenishes. If you tear down a wall with your sword, you've blown your cover, and it's gone forever. Otherwise, I could make this route, this stealth route, even longer. Okay, so the women, the old ladies, they're only worth 17 points. But as you see, the monks are worth 79. At Harata State, you're only going to get about 35 points out of each of those bandits. But here... And like I said, you could go even further on this stealth route. I just tore down the walls and now it blows my cover. But I can get three monks, okay? That's what, 80 times three, that's 240, so 79 minus three, 237 points every minute, basically. And you can see also, watch this. Plus 79, he's going to give me... Look, I'm over 2,000 cent. I'm getting money, I'm getting paid, I'm getting experience, and uh, it's boring, it's repetitive, it's not very exciting. That's what grinding's all about. You just have to decide, I need these skills unlocked to proceed in the game, and this is what I'm going to do. There is one other guy you can actually get, and I'll show you. Now see, typically there'd be a wall in between me and them, but I tore it down like a big dum-dum. So I'm going to get this guy. I'm going to back off. Hey, I'm trying to prove a point. So you can come up around here. You can lock on. Now, this would be your typical Harata soldier. Look at what he gives me. What was that? I wasn't paying attention. Like 30 points or something? Yeah, you're better off to stick with my route. Get the monks. Get your experience. Get your money up. And everybody will be happy. 
and hopefully after you get them skills unlocked, your blood pressure will not be raised like mine was. Thank you guys so much for watching. As soon as I'm done with my grind and I've unlocked a couple more skill skills in the branch, we will continue with the game. It's probably going to be today. I'm going to upload the Lady Butterfly boss fight. We will continue with this game. Thank you so much for subscribing and all you guys' support. You guys are the best audience a YouTuber could have. See you in the next one.